This comes as a source familiar says former Trump White House counsel Pat Cipollone intends to comply with the subpoena issued last week by the January 6th committee for its separate investigation. That panel announcing its next hearing will be next Tuesday. And joining me now, NBC's chief White House correspondent Peter Alexander, Anna Palmer, founder of Punchbowl News, Jim Messina, former White House deputy chief of staff for operations and campaign manager for President Obama, and Glenn Kirshner, former federal prosecutor. So, Peter, you just learned a few minutes ago that Pat Cipollone's transcribed interview will happen this Friday. That means that they're not taping it, so they won't be able to use those tape clips as they've been using rather effectively in their previous hearings, and he's not testifying in person, but he is coming in, and that was after a lot of public pressure and, you have to say, shaming. Yeah, Andrea, I think that's exactly right. This is a significant moment for the January 6th committee to be able to get this interview with Pat Cipollone that will again take place on Friday. And to be very clear, having just spoken to this person familiar with the matter, I am now told that the interview that takes place Friday will be both transcribed and videotaped, which means they will have the potential to use some of the clips of the conversation with Cipollone going forward right now. His uh, testimony could be crucial here, given the fact that we know that he was in and around the West Wing on January 6th and in the days leading up to it and after it as well. It was from Cassidy Hutchinson just last week, that former uh, top aide to the former Trump chief of staff, Mark Meadows, who detailed some of the conversations she was involved in with Cipollone, where he said to her, among other things, that basically they would be uh, facing every charge imaginable if they weren't able to stop President Trump from going up to the Capitol on January 6th. Separately, Cipollone himself, according to testimony, also communicated his concerns directly to Meadows, uh, basically calling on him to call off the rioters. So what he can say about that timetable may be significant as well. Obviously, one of the concerns that has existed throughout this and why this will take place under subpoena after a subpoena was issued to Cipollone last week is that he might invoke executive privilege here or attorney client privilege, but legal experts with whom I'm speaking and others who are joining you as part of this panel, I'm sure can also detail the fact that there are some conversations that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't be privileged, conversations he had directly with Cipollone or with Meadows, basically conversations that were not directly with the president himself. So again, to be clear, this videotaped, transcribed interview with Pat Cipollone, the former White House counsel, will take place this Friday, giving new fodder for the investigation for the January 6th committee, Andrea. And that's a really big development because he had been holding out and not wanting to be on videotape. That was one of the issues. And you saw all the pressure, of course, in that last round of, of hearings where the, you know, the chair and the vice chair, Liz Cheney, you know, said, we need to hear from him. He was a key witness to these events and actually on the so-called right side of it as far as they're concerned, because he was arguing against a number of things and saying that they would be illegal. <laughs>